Arnish a lot taller than Gorin. And Babkov goes inside and throws it down for an and one. The foul against Gunter Benker. It was the pace, it was the speed of Sergei Babkov. Much appreciated by his coach, Yuri Selikov. Here we go, it's Babkov. And Benka, the little push in the back. That was why the foul was called. Babkov completes the N1. Henrik Rodel now on, the North Carolina graduates. The first German to win an NCAA title. That's the number five for Germany. Christian Velp wheeling and dealing in the low post. Good passing from Germany. Here's Michael Koch. Nice fake. And passes off to Christian Velp, who lays it up. Lovely pass there from Michael Koch. Velp makes his personal total four. Well, this crowd just cannot believe that Germany are even close in this final. They were expecting them to be playing in the fifth and sixth playoff, we believe. And here they are in the final. Henrik Rodel. And the scores are tied. Gunter Benker. Harnish the back door and a lovely floated pass. Not quite an alley -oop, but Henning Harnish from Rodel. Back toward his opponent. Didn't land and a nice soft touch off the glass. Good in for Russia. Bazarevich. Oh, that's a lovely pass from Bazarevich, but Mikhail Mikhailov took his off the ball and he slipped through both hands. Superb pass there from Bazarevich. Mikhailov couldn't hang on to it. Henrik Rodel calls the play for Germany. Felp outside the arc, defended by Mikhailov. Harnish playing in the low post, defended by Babkov. Hits the front of the rim, but Germany get the rebound. Felp outside the arc. That's not his range. And here go Russia on the break. Babkov inside again. And the nice two from the jump shot from Bazarevich. Great interchange there between Babkov and Bazarevich. And we're back to a tied situation. Harnish defended by Babkov. Koch looks to go back door. The pass wasn't on. Well recognized by Velp. Velp goes inside. And Harnish fighting for the rebound. Oh, what a great hustle. And the foul. Michael Koch reaches in. That was a great hustle from Henning Harnish. Yeah. Mr. Pitsikas there just spotted the, the foul by six, Michael Koch. Bazarevich, no way through, through big defense from Germany. Rodel switches. And Gorin slows things down in the half court for Russia. Defense is the cry from the crowd here in Munich. Oh, lovely fake, but it was a travel. I say lovely fake, but the pivot foot came up. Russian players can't understand why. And the crowd much appreciative of a Russian turnover. Bazarevich takes a break for Russia. Coach Pesic, the 44-year-old Serb. Former player, won uh, Euroleague or European titles with the Bosna club. 15 for Germany is Michael Jackal and Christian Velp gets the tap. Uh, Christian Velp has really been a revelation for Germany. Everyone was expecting Germany to be very reliant upon their NBA player Detlef Schremp. He played in the Olympics in 1992, but he's not here. And Christian Velp certainly is. Doesn't make the N1, but Hansi can add the rebound and Germany resets. Who are boxing out on the foul shot there from Russia. Velp goes inside and he's fouled again. Now, has, has the referee given two? Well, Dimitri Sukarev there. 
Sukarev just lent in and Christian Velp the reverse layup. Nice move from the big lad. No score, so Germany possession. Ooh, nearly a steal. Barkov recognized it. But Germany escaped. Here's Henrik Rodel, defended by Gorin. Good ball movement from the Germans. And the two from number 15. That's Michael Jackal, the Canadian-born German. Born in Vancouver of German parents. And Germany with an amazing nine-point lead. The crowd still in disbelief. Babkov pulls up for a nice open jump shot. Comes off the pick. Harnish can't fight his way through that one. Babkov doing the job for Russia. Nuremberger back on. He's on two fouls. Had a great start. Harnish. Velp outside the arc. Nice pass inside to Gunter Benker. Can't hang on to it though. Here's Bezarevich for Russia. 45 seconds remaining in the half. Germany by five. Well, there's a travel, I think. No, it's a foul. I'll tell you what, Babkov caught the ball between his knees then. And Henrik Rodel, disgusted with himself, reaches in. And Pesic. Let's get Jackal back in there. Babkov on the line because Germany are in the penalty. It's one and one. He hits the first, so he gets a second. Sergei Babkov almost single-handedly keeping Russia in this game. Two from two. Here's Kai Nürnberger. Finds Jackal in the corner, but Jackal can't hang on to it. Tried to catch it one-handed. Poor turnover there for Germany. Two seconds remaining. Gorin to Mikhailov. Mikhailov the long shot from his own half and misses on the buzzer. So a great performance from Germany. They're leading by three. And were it not for Sergei Pavkov, then Russia would be well in trouble. Of the 1993 European Championships for men. And Germany with a narrow three-point lead over many people's favourites, Russia. It's Germany in white, and Russia get the first touch of the ball in the second half. Babkov to Bazarevich. 20 minutes of basketball separate these two teams from the gold medal. The Russians playing for the first time. Separated from the Soviet Union and Germany. No one expected them to be in this position. Rebound after rebound, and eventually Hansi Ganat grabs it. Well, three opportunities spurned by Russia there to make it a one-point game. And eventually Hansi Ganat gets three. Oh, poor, oh, I was about to say poor turnover from Kai Nuremberger. Bit of a casual pass there, but Harnish rescued the situation. Ganat in the low post. Looking to go one-on-one, -on -one. and the hook shot, he tried that in the first half, it missed, and it missed again early in the second. Is Gorin for Russia, Bazarevich. Into Benker playing tough defence, and Germany come up with a turnover. And on the break, it's a mystery. No rebounders there for Germany. A nervous start for both teams at the beginning of the second half. Got in. Goes inside. And the foul. Hansi Gnad just reaches in. Chastises himself for poor defence. And Mikhail Mikhailov will go to the line for Russia. That was a lovely bounce pass from Vladimir Godin inside. Mikhailov from the line. It's a two-point lead for Germany. Make it a one-point game now. Nuremberger 
defended by Bazarevic. There's Michael Cock. Henning Harnish pulls up and hits the jumper. Very deceptive player, left-handed. And fades away on his jump shots. And he restores Germany's three-point advantage. Well, the ball slipped out of Bazarevic's hands there, and it came off Mikhailov last. So Germany with a welcome possession. Scrappy play there from the Russians. And I'll tell you what, it was good hands from the big guy, Gunter Benke. He caused the turnover. Nuremberger to Koch. Here's that man I was just talking about, Gunter Benke. And here's Harnish, defended by Babkov. What a great matchup that is. Harnish finds Benke inside. Great couple of minutes from Gunter Benke. No one's going to stop that. Look at this pass from Harnish. Draws three players. Finds Benke and wham. Down it goes. Now can he make the three-point play? No, he can't. Now that was such a pity there from Benker, but he chased his own rebound and Hans Egenad batted it onto a Russian hand. And possession goes to Germany. Bad couple of minutes for Mikhail Mikhailov. Lost the ball at one end and then didn't gather a clean rebound. Harnish. To Hans Egenad. Hans Egenad, lovely play between Harnish and Hans Egenad. The give and go. And Gennad lays it up softly off the glass. Beautiful, simple basketball. And Germany lead by seven. Got in. Defended by Nuremberger. Nuremberger recognizes the pick and fights his way around it. Now look at this defense from Germany. No give and go there. Bazarevich goes inside and the simple layup. Just as I was praising Germany's defense, it went absent. Bazarevich recognized it and got the simplest of layups. Nuremberger. The three pointer from Michael Koch off Nuremberger's assist. Germany are playing out of their skins. Gurin doesn't use a pick. This poor play from Gurin actually didn't lose his defender. And Harnish is still in his boots. Here's Babkov. Oh, what a bounce pass along the baseline. Andrei. Lovely assist there into Andrei Fetizov. The vision of Babkov there was superb. And Russia back to within two. 14 to go in the second half. Harnish tells Velp to clear out. Harnish against Babkov. And finds Velp inside, and Velp is fouled, and that's goaltending, I think. That's got to be goaltending. Ball was on the way down. Great pass there from Henning Harnish. And there's one shot to come for Christian Velp. Using his strength inside. And Russia commit a goaltending violation. Okay, love just slows things down. Makes Velp wait on the foul line. Belt misses the bonus shot and the rebound grabbed by Fetizov. Fetizov, number 13, player of the year in Russia this year. Here's Babkov going one against four. And how on earth did he squeeze that in? Well, the two went to Babkov, despite the fact that Mikhailov rebounded it. It was already in. How on earth does Babkov get through here? Well, a bit of a hooking foul against Harnish, but not spotted by the officials. And Mikhailov.